Hi, my name is Cassie Wolpe, formerly known as Cassie Mumal. My show career in the state of Ohio started in 1993 and it wrapped up in the year of 2003. I grew up in New Philadelphia, Ohio, also known as Tuscarawas County. However, today I reside in southeastern Indiana in Greensburg. As a family, I grew up um, as an only child and we raised registered Oxfords. My parents started that in 1982. My mom was a 4-H extension agent and the state fair superintendent. My dad was an avid 4-H advisor as well as always held a passion of shearing and raising sheep as well as working in the meat industry for many years. So it was only natural for me to start in the sheep project and try that, um, both breeding sheep and market lambs. I did compete at the county, state, and national level throughout my entire career. Today, I am an ag educator at Batesville High School, which is also located in southeastern Indiana. My family, my husband Nathan Wolpe, and my son Bryson own a small flock of registered Oxford sheep, and I assist a handful of 4-H and FFA members with their sheep and goat projects. I'm also a familiar face in the show ring as I do judge many um, county fairs, jackpots, and some state level shows, um, uh, sheep shows as well as goat shows. And so I'm usually seen through the tri-state area, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana throughout the summers. In college, I attended The Ohio State University. I majored in ag education with a minor in ag production. I was a member of the 2006 Livestock Judging Team at Ohio State, and I also was employed all my tenure at Ohio State through the Meat Lab. You know, while being an ag educator, um, I'm 10 years in now, there's no doubt that showing sheep impacted what I do every day. Indeed, I have a love for communication and I like to talk to many others that share the same passion for agriculture and sheep specifically. It was the constant ring presence that made me comfortable to walk into my classroom to be able to talk and stand in front of 135 students every day. It was the responsibility that I learned from feeding sheep daily that instilled in me that lesson plans must be finished nightly before I go to bed. It was the opportunity to converse with my competitors that today paved the way for me to learn new things and teach others. Those of you that have an ambition to become an ag educator, educating the next generation of agriculturalists is one of the most exciting things about what today's life brings us. It will be one of the most important things that made sure that our world will continue from years, years ahead. Be ready to immerse yourself, your family, and your life into this FFA program and agricultural program. I have been in the classroom, like I said, for 10 years. I've traveled to 12 national trips. I've had students win numerous state and national awards. But probably the one thing that speaks louder to me than anything else is watching my students help shape the life of my own child. It has to be part of your life. You spend way too much time away from home for it to be anything more than part of your life. So the questions asked, what was it that sparked my interest for a future where I stand today? I have to give credit where credit is due. When I was 17 years old, I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, other than the fact that I love to show sheep and that my knowledge within this species was plentiful, thanks mostly to the Stillathon program. Being able to challenge myself with different Stillathon contests, not only at the Ohio State Fair, but also at the All-American Junior Sheep Association and um, at our county book judging, I had the ability to constantly push myself to learn new things about the sheep industry. I was able to see that what I knew and the knowledge that I retained within the sheep industry was something along the lines of a gift, a gift that I had and was given to share with others. Today, 
I am so truly thankful for this Dilathon experience I experienced throughout, a, throughout my 4-H career. I was also a member of the state Stillathon team that competed in Louisville. And, and with those exercises that I have done, I, they have kind of paved the way for me to coach my own FFA Stillathon team now. Um, we have seen many accolades as uh, my teams have been extremely successful. Um, over the past five years that we've been competed, we have seen four national contests with Stillathon. And to me, that, that is very near and dear to my heart because it's more than just showing a sheep. It's knowing the ins and outs of animal husbandry and the things that you actually do put into practice while you do show and raise sheep. What did I enjoy the most during my sheep career? It was probably the shows itself. I really enjoyed um, meeting up and seeing my friends and competitors. It was the constant showmanship battle that we faced every week in my age division that would make my heart beat like something I've never felt before. That intensity, that excitement of the unknown, it, it was extremely a wonderful part of the entire show career for me. What do I miss the most? Oh, I miss a lot about showing sheep, and that's probably why I spend three quarters of the year still showing or helping kids show sheep. But I think the one thing that I really, really miss is walking a really cocky fronted you into the ring and just showing down. It's something that I held near and dear to my heart that that I would train a sheep that I could get down beside her and and she not move and she kind of stand like a statue. So that's probably the one thing that I miss the most about showing sheep. My favorite show always was and always will be the Ohio State Fair. That brown sheep barn holds such a large part of my childhood. The showmanship rosettes, the big fans in the ceiling, the pens that magically just open. Oh yeah, how about that woman that's always in the makeup and yelling at you to get in there? So much love for that place. The connections that I've made while showing sheep have outlasted the sports, academic, high school connections that I had. Not that those are any less, but the connections that I made within the sheep industry are the people that I share so much in common with. Our livelihood intermingles con constantly. Showing sheep is what I did. Raising sheep is what I do. The competitors are my friends and this hobby will forever be an inspiration in my life. If I had to give one piece of information to those showing today, you know, a lot of people will sit back and say, I can't go to the show this weekend, my sheep aren't ready, or I don't have this perfected. My advice to you is go show. Even if those lambs aren't 100%, go show. I've never regretted the knowledge gained, the friendships made, or the lessons learned. Showing sheep, and being part of the Ohio Club Lamb Association back in my day, or the OSIA lead, is one of the best things that you could do to expand your knowledge and become more part of the sheep industry today. Thank you.